What's up guys? Welcome back to Honest Cooks. After last week's trip to the Olive Garden, today we're going to the Cheesecake Factory and we're making Jambalaya Shrimp Pasta. Delicious, easy recipe coming up right now. For this delicious recipe, we will be using assorted bell peppers, red onions, diced canned tomatoes, tomato paste, minced garlic, Cajun spice mix, and of course, olive oil. Mixture of chicken stock and seafood stock. We'll also use shrimp and chicken breast. Start by cleaning the chicken and slicing it into thin one inch slices. To add in that extra flavor, dry rub the chicken and the shrimp with the Cajun mix. Full list of spices is in the description. If you're new here, thank you for stopping by. Please take a second and subscribe to Honest Cooks. Alright, let's get cooking. When your pan is hot, add in your olive oil. Chicken will take the longest to cook, so we will add that first. Flip it and cook for about a minute on each side. When your chicken is almost half cooked, add in the garlic. Give it a mix. Doing this will prevent the garlic from burning. And then add in the shrimp. By the time the shrimp cooks fully, the chicken will also be fully cooked. Season your shrimp and chicken and stir it a couple times to avoid burning. When the shrimp has changed color and it has curled, you'll know it's ready. Remove the shrimp and the chicken from the pan and try to leave as much oil behind as you can. For maximum flavor, we'll cook the vegetables in the same oil. So add in your onions and bell peppers and mix it really well. Sprinkle two spoons of the Cajun mix and let the vegetables cook. While the vegetables are cooking, let's also cook the pasta so that everything is ready at the same time. Drop your pasta in boiling salted water and cook as per packet instructions. And back to the vegetables when they have cooked down a little bit, add in the tomato paste and the diced tomatoes. Cook the tomatoes for a couple minutes and add in the stock. Let this simmer on medium heat. Do not cover it because we want the sauce to reduce and thicken. After about 7 to 8 minutes, the sauce will have reduced a lot. Now we will add in the chicken and the shrimp that we cooked earlier. Simmer again for about a minute or so just to bring all the flavors together. This is the time to finely chop flat leaf parsley and when your pasta is ready, we are ready to plate. In true Cheesecake Factory fashion, hot pasta on the bottom with scoops of sauce on top. There you go, jambalaya, shrimp pasta, Cheesecake Factory style. What do you want to see next? Go to Honest Cooks community tab and vote for your choice. Extra shrimp on top along with some parsley. And just like Cheesecake Factory, sprinkle that Cajun spice. Thank you so much for watching. We hope you enjoyed this video. Please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to Honest Cooks. And I will see you next week. Until then, have a lovely day.